So it looks like Earl Spence Jr. and Javante Tank Davis is beefing. Javante Davis recently checked Earl Spence Jr. for his remarks concerning the uh, Frank Martin fight. Earl Spence Jr. is a so-called promoter. He announced he's a promoter before the Terrence Crawford fight. He's been promoting one, just one fighter only, and that's Frank Martin. This is what Javante Davis had to say. Earl says, Frank, stand focused. Javante says, ask us, do we care? Pretty much Javante is saying, your fighter Frank Martin can stay focused all he wants, but it's not going to make a difference because when we fight, because when we fight, I'm going to knock him out. Um, Javante Davis checks Earl Spence Jr. I mean, that's a shocker to see because Javante and Earl Spence used to be very tight, guys. If you guys don't remember, if I can take you guys back in time. When everybody was happy with the PBC, they was making out. They were screaming at Al Heyman money, Al Heyman checks. Everybody was cool over there. We used to see Javante, Adrian Bronner, Richardson, Hitchens. Uh, Hitchens left. He went to uh, the zone. Javante is still there. Earl's still there. Broner left. I mean, it's not what it used to be. So. A lot of these guys that used to be cool, they're not as cool as they used to be. I'm pretty sure Adrian Broner thinks they're all cool, but I don't think a lot of these guys mess with Broner like that. Javante don't even hang with Broner, and Broner is a guy who brought Javante around and introduced him to Floyd Mayweather, and Floyd Mayweather, he signed Javante. When Adrian Broner could have signed Javante, he left Floyd still Javante from him. But anyway, I'm not going to literally say Javante and Earl's beefing. But I think for a fight like this, Javante is taking it personal. Because Earl's backing this guy. And whenever Earl used to fight, or even going into the Terrence Crawford fight, Javante was backing Earl. You know, Javante picked Earl to beat Bud multiple times. His reasoning was this. <laughs> He had the worst breakdown in boxing history. You know, I always call Javante a casual fanboy. And he is when he comes to the sport of boxing. Or that's just a man opinion. But some of the shit he says makes absolutely no sense. That's why I call him a casual fanboy. You know, you could be an elite level boxer, but that don't mean you understand the sport. You can't break down these fights. And Javante is a guy that doesn't break down the fight pretty well. Well, anyway, I'm going to give, give you guys uh, what Javante said about the Earl Spence versus Terrence Crawford fight. He said, Earl Spence versus Terrence Crawford fight. That fight is like taking a a glass shield to a uh, battle. He says, Earl has a metal shield and Terrence Crawford has a glass shield. <laughs> I'm like, hey, yo, that made no sense. I mean... Both Crawford and Earl Spence never lost before. How can you say Crawford has a glass shoe? You know, if you're talking about what all the casual fans talk about, Crawford got hurt by Gamboa. Crawford got hurt by Gamboa. We're talking about a fight 10 plus years ago. 10 years ago. In 2014, bro. We're in, we're in 2024. That was 10 years ago. But for your yoga is Gamboa. And Gamboa was fast. Gamboa is also an Olympic gold medalist, a three division world champion, was undefeated in his prime. A lot of people believe Crawford should have lost that fight. You know, Crawford should have been the underdog, even though he was a champion. Because Gamboa was a guy who was known at the time. He had a lot of backing behind him. Crawford only. Crawford was defending this title. He had just became a world champion. Nobody really knew him. That was supposed to be Gamboa or the coming out party. If Gamboa would have beat Crawford, he'd have been, been another he would have been a champion in another weight class. He would have been a pound for pound level talent. But somehow we listen to these boxing fans that come on the internet and embarrass themselves and talk about Crawford being hurt by the guy. And Gamboa, when Gamboa had everything going for him. A win over Crawford would have made him a four-division world champion and 
put him right on a pound for pound list. That fight was set up for Gamboa to win. A lot of people don't know that. But Crawford wasn't having it. Crawford went in there and did what he had to do. Yes, he got hurt. But then he knocked out Gamboa the same round he got hurt. A lot of people don't know that. How you get hurt in the same round and then knock your opponent out? I mean, but anyway, um, Javante is trying to make this into a little feud where he's mad that Earl is back in Frank Martin. Earl has always supported Javante, just how Javante has always supported Earl. It's just that these two got to cross path, Martin versus Javante. You know, at the end of the day, it's business. I don't think Javante should be taking it personal, you know, because we you, we recently heard about rumors of Earl Spence leaving Derrick James, and a lot of the rumors were saying Earl Spence might go to uh, Javante Davis trainer, Calvin Ford. So... If that's what we're hearing, Javante is going to Calvin Ford, then why is, I meant, I said Javante is going to Calvin Ford. If Earl Spence might be going to Calvin Ford, why then is Javante trying to spark something with Earl Spence? Who's this guy? You know, they've always had nice words for each other. You know, they used to hang out back in the day. You know, why are they trying, why is Javante trying to make it into a little feud, all because he's fighting Frank Martin. Your fight is not with Earl. Your fight is with Frank Martin. You can go back and forth with Frank Martin all you want, but don't go back and forth for Earl unless you want to fight Earl. Move up and wait and go fight Earl at 147. <laughs> but anyway, Earl's about to go up to 154. That fight is never going to happen. But um, what do you guys think about Javante trying to check Earl's bench trainer? You know, saying we don't care based on the fact that Earl is rooting for his guy, uh, Frank Martin, you know. I mean, who else Earl's going to root for? You can't root for you, Javante. You're not his fighter. He's not getting paid off of you. He gets paid off of Frank Martin. I mean, he put 20K on you when you fought Ryan Garcia. You know, he put, he put money on you when you fought Ryan Garcia. And... He also made money off of Ryan as well when Ryan was in the uh, stands. Ryan was at the other fight with uh, Javante. I forgot who Javante was fighting, but Ryan betted Earl Spence Jr. And Earl Spence came 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 up betting on, I believe, Javante. But anyways, like I said, what do you guys think about this little back and forth between Javante and Earl? Do you think Javante is going to escalate it? Or do you think it ends with that little tweet? 